Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Coca-Cola made a machine that instantly turns your soda into frozen slush. Oh, whoa. That was a cool... I mean, that was cool. Whoa. <laughs> if you take a lit match and place it inside of a microwave, you can create plasma. Come on, come on. Here we go. Plasma can also be created by microwaving grapes. Scientists put small light bulbs all over this fake arm to see if an electric eel could turn them on. In South American countries such as Colombia and Brazil, you'll see people perform at red lights. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is called a persistent train, and it's a rare occurrence when a meteor leaves a trail behind. This isn't actually smoke, but a result of the meteor ionizing the air. The meteor is moving so fast that it actually strips away electrons from molecules in the air. This astronomer found a persistent train that formed in the shape of a ring. There's a restaurant in Japan that sends you noodles through a series of bamboo tubes. You're not supposed to take all the noodles, so people further down the line can have some too. Good afternoon, everyone. This is called a red-throated loon, and it's a type of bird that likes to dive for food. They have the ability to dive to a depth of 30 feet and hold their breath for 90 seconds. There's a sport from Norway that's pretty much a belly flop championship. 
The objective is to have the most painful dive possible into the water. A few days ago, Japan experienced their most powerful typhoon in over 25 years. This is what it looks like when two octopuses fight. It got to the point that it looked like a giant octopus burrito. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is Peanut the Trucker Cat. His owner drives a big semi-truck for a living and likes to travel for thousands of miles. This is what conditions are like for over 100,000 people living in Hong Kong. With so many people living in such a small area, these people pay over $150 a month to live in a cage or metal box. To make things even worse, about 15 people have to share the same bathroom. The military in Ukraine decided to show off how advanced their weapons are. Despite being on a boat, the gun is so stable that it can balance a cup of water. There's a train in Thailand that goes straight through a marketplace. This is the USS Arizona Memorial, located in Hawaii. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, this ship and over 1,000 US sailors sunk to the bottom of the harbor. What makes this memorial so interesting is that over 77 years later, you can still see oil from the ship rise to the surface. Look at just coming up again and again right in here. Look at this. The bark from this tree is used to make cork for wine bottles. The bark grows back on the tree about 9 years later to be harvested again. The average cork tree gets harvested about 12 times in its lifetime. Nice. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is called the Arch Lifter, and it's a medical device used to fix your neck. The device locks your head in place, while gravity is used to straighten out your neck. 
The Arch Lifter is a new and unique cervical traction device that relieves the tension and pain that build up after a hard day's work. The Arch Lifter is designed to apply traction forces precisely to give you the neck and back pain relief you need in under a minute per day. The Arch Lifter uses balanced traction forces by applying those forces to the front and the back of the head. This is called a Japanese wood plane, and it's a tool that shaves off extremely thin pieces of wood. To give you an idea of just how thin these sheets of wood are, your typical piece of paper is about 100 microns thick. These wood shavings are sometimes less than 16 microns thick. These are some of the quickest gunslingers in the world. 459 on one, a five flat on two, no time on three. No time on three, a 295 on four. <laughs> that is a new world record. I know, new world record, 295. This is what a $367,000 signing machine looks like. It has the ability to perfectly replicate anyone's signature. Now that we have the sign plotted, we're gonna go ahead and remove away the material we do not need. After we finish weeding, we're gonna go ahead and tape over the letters. It's a diamond grade. Uh, basically, at night, this is what, when your headlights hit, shoots it back in your face. And there you go. You got a completed stop sign. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Many reptile breeders tickle the shell of an egg to see if it's ready to hatch. This method is only used to see if the baby is strong enough to break through the shell. I got this on camera. This person bought a giant stuffed bear, jumped inside, and then went to Walmart. Wait, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now teach me how to doggy. <laughs> that is too cute. Please. I mean, seriously. <laughs> this is called the Sea Keeper, which is a gyro stabilizer to prevent the boat from rocking back and forth. At the bottom of the boat, multiple stabilizers are placed to shift the weight in the opposite direction of the natural motion. ...of every boater's experience. Because stabilizing the roll motion is stabilizing the worst motion of a boat that makes people sick and tired. This will come about, we think, the same way that safety and comfort have been built into automobiles. This is a Eurasian wryneck, and they have an interesting defense mechanism when they're captured. These birds make their body as skinny as possible and move like a snake to try and scare predators. This is called a self-starting siphon and is a simple shaped tube that can move liquid without using any sort of effort. 
Many people actually used to make tubes like this to steal gas from gas stations. Let's see what happens. Watch it closely. We lower it in, water level comes up to that first bend, over, down, around, and out. And it only just made it. In fact, it wouldn't have if that hill were too tall or the water level weren't right up to the edge there. This is a giant dragline excavator built by the Soviet Union. This incredibly massive machine doesn't have any wheels, but it moves by walking on its feet. During the Vietnam War, this is how the Viet Cong would hide from U.S. soldiers. <laughs> Not only was it difficult to find the enemy, but the Viet Cong also set up numerous booby traps. Uh, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These are mobula rays, and this is a performance both males and females carry out to attract a mate. The higher the rays fly, the bigger the noise they make on the way down, which makes it easier to get noticed. What you just saw was the world's first standing double backflip on a hard surface. This is called a sun dog, and it's a very rare situation when it looks like there are three suns in the sky. It's created when sunlight reflects off of ice crystals floating in the air. This is called a pattern master lift, and it's a continuously moving doorless elevator. They're not very helpful for elderly or disabled people, but do make it very easy to jump on. Supposedly, there are sensors that stop the lift if someone were to get their arm stuck between levels. These people in California blocked off traffic on a bridge so they could do some stunts. They were arrested a few minutes later. This is an easy way to convert salt water into fresh water. By heating up the bottle filled with salt water, only fresh water evaporates and moves to the other bottle. So now it's been about 10 minutes since the water started boiling, and I think I have enough water in this bottle that I can give it a test. Absolutely pure. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This person was caught on camera pouring maple syrup all over this police car. The suspect still hasn't been caught or identified yet.
This is called reverse bungee jumping. A person will typically feel about 5 Gs of force while flying straight up. A company in France invented a bike that changes direction by bending its frame and back wheel. A professional biker rode on top of this dam that was over 200 meters high. He actually did have a parachute on in case he fell off. This is possibly the oldest method of getting a tattoo. The hand tapping method has been used in many different cultures for thousands of years. This is a heavy lift ship. It's an incredibly strong vessel that is designed to go underwater. This method is typically used when trying to transport smaller ships or cargo that can float. The deck becomes submerged, allowing cargo to be moved into position for loading. Afterwards, the tanks are emptied and the deck surfaces with the load in place. After installing the sea fastenings, the vessel and its cargo can safely start their journey. This is Rocky and he has a special ability to balance pretty much anything. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is called see-through, which is a special device that allows firefighters to see straight through smoke. This device uses augmented reality to create an outline of structures inside of a burning building. The hope is that firefighters will be able to move through buildings faster and easier, which will save more lives. The see-through technology is it's pretty amazing just how it gives you depth in a room, shows all the edges. The see-through technology is amazing. It absolutely is. It's cutting edge. It separates thermal imaging from anything out there in the market. Back in 1993, a company tried selling the first hands-free phone headset. It's that easy. Hands-free, pain-free, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. It's perfect for remotes. Now talk hands-free anywhere, anytime. Office work is a pain for Mr. Phone in the Neck, but you won't miss a beat with hands-free freedom. Sometimes baby goats misbehave and can't stop running into other goats. As a result, farmers sometimes have to cut off their horns to protect other animals. Many goat farmers have learned that the quickest and easiest way to protect others is by using pool noodles. These foam noodles are cut and placed right on top, which is a great alternative to removing their horns. I'm not sure why, but there's a bunch of viral videos from China showing a praying mantis lifting heavy objects.
This is the White Temple, located in Thailand. It's a Buddhist temple that was constructed by a local artist in 1997. He used his own money to fund the project and believes building the temple will give him immortal life. That's it in this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A scientist in California helped create a camera capable of moving faster than the speed of light. At 10 trillion frames per second, we have finally captured a beam of light in motion. In this video, you can see a beam of light getting split in half. This person lost her arm in a car crash over 15 years ago. After the accident, she decided to develop her own customized prosthetic arm and learn how to play violin. There's these Halloween costumes that can make your whole family look like sick people. Zoe, hurry! Come to daddy, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> hurry, run! Here's a demonstration showing how the wavelength of earthquakes impacts different buildings. Earthquakes with long wavelengths weaken taller buildings. Earthquakes that have quick wavelengths weaken shorter buildings. There's a bath bomb that's shaped like a cloud, and when it's placed in a tub, it spits out a rainbow. You can make an incredibly simple electric train by using a battery, magnets, and a copper coil. That's it in this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's a barber that helps people with thin hair look young again. The top of the client's head is shaved off, and fake hair is glued right on top. The glue can last for about a month before needing to be reapplied again. This is Julian Carr. He's a professional skier that likes to jump off cliffs into giant piles of fluffy snow.
This jump was over 200 feet high, and he walked away completely unharmed. This is called the octopus jig. It's where you have three people play the same three instruments at the same time. This is what a CT scan looks like without the cover on. And as it speeds up, it's taking images, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. It's taking more images. Yep. And that improves the quality. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. <laughs> Come here, little. You're a cute pumpkin. And Sophie's a good grandma. <laughs> Alright, be nice to have a turn. So do I. Oh my god. Oh my god. About a week ago, there was an air show in Australia where planes flew really close to buildings. Boston Dynamics made a robot that's capable of doing parkour. There's a pen that uses a scanner to match the color of pretty much anything. Once something is scanned, the ink and the pen mix it together to produce the desired color. It works by using a special color sensor to read the colors you scan. And a smart pump mixes and dispenses the colored ink. Scanning is simple and fast. So you can capture those colors in an instant. Boy, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy. These are probably the strongest gloves in the world. These gloves are strong enough to protect you from sharp objects, blunt force, and extreme heat. These two little bear cubs were rescued from the cold weather. This rattlesnake thought this tortoise was a rock and decided to go for a ride.
This is Salto, the one-legged jumping robot. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This company developed glasses that blocks out computer and TV screens. Some people find electronic screens to be distracting, so this makes it easier to focus. I discovered that when you actually flatten and when you rotate a regular polarized lens, you can block out LCD and LED screens, and those make up most of the displays for TVs and computers. So, we had our screen blocking glasses. And so we spent the past year researching manufacturers, materials, we've done lots of prototyping. This is the tallest outdoor elevator in the world, located in China. The elevator takes passengers to a height of over 1,000 feet in 60 seconds. This company made some Halloween decorations that make it look like there's an actual ghost in your house. A special projector is used to make the hologram illusion come to life. It's possible to create a bridge made of water by using electricity. Scientists are still not entirely sure why water behaves this way. Straight across that guy. So I'm going to bring it up, voltage up. Now I'll bring the voltage back down. A few days ago, SpaceX launched another rocket into space, and it was beautiful. Here's a great graph showing how much the sea level has risen since 1880. There's a Japanese artist that uses shadows from everyday objects to create giant imaginary worlds. This person set up a machine that makes you a free scarf while you wait for your train. All you need to do is power the machine with your legs for about 5 minutes. That's the end of this video, hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's an artist that likes to carve pillows out of marble. This is a polarizing filter, which is used by photographers to remove reflections from surfaces such as glass and water.
Cleaning filters can get rid of reflections from many surfaces such as water or glass or even book spines. There's a cat that likes to go skateboarding. The owner pushes or pulls on the board while the cat goes for a ride. This is the largest and most expensive sailboat in the world. If you want to rent this yacht, it'll cost you at least $300,000 a week. These ducks were rescued after they spent their entire lives trapped inside a house. They have never seen a large body of water until now. The ducks actually refused to go in the water until volunteers started throwing them in. A few days ago, there was an earthquake in Indonesia, followed up by a tsunami that flooded the shoreline. That's the end of this video, but I do have some bad news. I will be gone and away from YouTube for about the next 10 or 11 days, and I'll be spending some time with some family members that I almost never get to see. So thanks so much for understanding, and I'll be back again making videos very, very soon. Hello Later. everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Underwater? Yeah. Oh! This rhino ran right up to this photographer and demanded belly rubs. This is called the double wrench method, which is a super simple way to break open a lock. And then the second one at a 90 degree angle. So let's see what happens when we try this. Okay, looks like we broke something, but it's not completely open. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Sometime in the first century, a nomadic tribe in Saudi Arabia carved this tomb from a giant rock. There's over 100 other similar tombs scattered throughout the desert. These tombs were built for the wealthiest and most important members of their society. This is how a sea cucumber eats. They walk on the floor and throw sand in their mouth and digest whatever organic matter they can find. And what we see the, uh, the holothurian doing here again is, is consuming sediment. They are able to eviscerate they, their guts, uh, for example, uh, and that will then stick to the predator and confuse them.
happy baking everyone. Here we have some brioche stove, which goes into a bun divider. Push this down, divide it, and now we go into round it for a few seconds. And voila, you have equal 36 pieces. This company made a device that allows you to create and animate your own holograms. And you look at it and you interact with it, there's no clunky headgear, there's no extended setup. That's in this video, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This company developed a speed bump filled with non-Newtonian fluid. If a car is moving at the appropriate speed limit, the car will travel right over it without very much disturbance. If a car is traveling too fast, the liquid hardens and becomes an obstacle. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this was a very good idea because the company is now out of business. Change from a soft to a solid state, according to the vehicle's speed. This is what it looks like when you place liquid nitrogen into gasoline. The nitrogen moves around, kind of like a screensaver. This is a gulper eel, and they can make themselves look like really big balloons to scare away predators. Wow. Wow. We really ticked them off. <laughs> like oh the gill arches I have the gill some kind of what is it? Wow. it just got so big incredible wow yep he's doing the shake oh, it's a oh, oh, oh my god, my god. Yes. Oh, yes. is that a goal for eel then wow yes. I think so yeah that is crazy that, that was awesome that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> These are juvenile African pampano fish, and they have really long fin filaments. As they get older, these long threads get smaller and smaller. This is what it looks like to paint using virtual reality. It allows you to paint in a three-dimensional space. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These firefighters in Canada had their hose sucked in by a fire tornado. There's a special type of plant that you can blow bubbles from. <laughs> Yay! In case you didn't know, there's an enormous patch of plastic floating in the Pacific Ocean. This patch is difficult to photograph because many of the plastic pieces are really, really small.
However, if you use a net and drag it through this patch of water, you will pick up a lot of plastic. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch measures 1.6 million square kilometers. That is three times the size of France. Cars are beginning to have door protectors to protect other cars from getting scratches. There's a train bridge in Burma that travels over an enormous valley. The bridge is 118 years old and the highest point is 820 feet from the bottom. In 1995, these designs were first discovered in the sand, but nobody knew where they came from. This is the Japanese pufferfish, and they like to draw intricate designs in the sand to attract a mate. These fish are pretty much showing off their artistic abilities to attract the ladies. In 2017, over 1,000 rhinos were killed so their horns could be harvested and sold on the black market. Many wildlife conservations are dehorning rhinos to save them from being killed. Once a rhino has been spotted, the team uses a tranquilizer to calm the rhino down. Their eyes are covered and earplugs are placed for protection from noise and dust. A chainsaw is then used to remove the horn. Removing a horn is similar to trimming your fingernails. The rhino does not feel any pain. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is a golden-tailed gecko. What you're looking at is extremely rare footage of their defense mechanism used to scare away predators. When the geckos feel threatened, they shoot a sticky substance out of their tail. This web is also extremely foul-smelling and will make this gecko smell really, really bad. Unfortunately, this type of gecko is currently suffering from habitat loss in Australia. This truck was being repossessed when the owner jumped in and tried to drive away. This artist created a 3D printer using the power and heat from the sun to make objects from sand. This is a marine iguana, only found in the Galapagos Islands. They're the only type of iguana in the world that can swim and dive for food. Many of these iguanas can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes long. When racehorses are about two years old, they begin hard training to become the best. Since the horses are so young, their body is not ready to handle this type of training. This is a monorail that runs with the horses and protects them if they trip or fall. This is the Ames window, which is an optical illusion that was created in 1951.
It's a two-dimensional object that appears to be transparent. When you place objects on this window, it appears that the objects are passing straight through. So the window appears to pause and go backwards, but the matchbox keeps coming and floats out past this edge of the window. You can see that, you can even see the pin. But watch what happens here. The ruler's coming, window pauses, window goes backwards, and somehow or other they go through each other, even though you know they can't do it. That's it in this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These researchers were studying a group of beluga whales when they noticed something strange. One of the whales was actually a narwhal. This narwhal has been swimming with the same group of whales for over three years. About three months ago, a new type of rock was discovered in Lake Superior in the United States. These are called euperlites. They look like regular boring rocks until they're placed underneath an ultraviolet light. So this is what they look like without. You can see there's a couple different patterns going on. And they fluoresce very brightly under long wave UV. Quite a few different flavors. And the white light back on and take the UV away. <laughs> oh my goodness me, it's a smooth knob tail gecko. And it's very beautiful and I love geckos. They're very cute. Yeah, this guy's very cute. He's so, oh yeah, he's so cute. Yeah, oh, I can't believe I found one. I've never seen one of these in the wild before. This is a peacock mantis shrimp, and they're one of the most fearsome predators in the animal kingdom. They hunt for food by punching other animals to death. They have the fastest punch ever recorded at speeds of over 50 miles per hour. Their punch is so strong that they can break through the glass walls of aquariums. <laughs> A zoo installed a new security camera, and it scared the snow leopard. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is what the track of a drag race looks like. The surface is really, really sticky, so the cars can get a good grip. Got it, let's see that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Is it, Mom? Is it? There's a popular sport in Southeast Asia where you pretty much play volleyball using your feet.
This is what air traffic in the United States looked like before and after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. This is called a coconut octopus. They like to carry seashells, coconuts, or pretty much whatever they can find everywhere they go. They use these objects to hide and protect themselves from predators. These police officers try teaching a dog how to do CPR. In the 1960s, Albania had a dictator who was paranoid that his country was going to be attacked. As a result, he ordered over 750,000 bunkers to be built all over the country. These bunkers still exist today and can be found on pretty much every street corner. At one point, over 20% of the total economic output of Albania was dedicated to building these bunkers. This little penguin was released back in the wild, but it wasn't really sure what to do. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This diver came to feed the fish, but the zebra shark decided that it wanted a belly rub instead. So I found this dog and it's really, really round. This person figured out that you can remove a dent from a car by using hot boiling water and a plunger. This person was driving a truck filled with gasoline when they ran into an electric pole. The driver claimed that a bird ran into his windshield, but luckily nobody got hurt. It's a western ribbon snake, wide mouth version. Oh no, come on, stop chewing. This company is developing a vehicle that perfectly transitions from a car to a flying machine. This is called an Andean Tunki, and they can be found in South America. They love to eat fruits, small reptiles, and even frogs.
That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Elderly people frequently break their hips when they fall down, so a company developed these airbags designed to protect hips. When this device senses that a person is falling, the airbags automatically deploy. This same sort of technology is being used on people who ride motorcycles. Wow. There's a hotel in South Africa where elephants come right up to the pool for a drink. This is called a derma clip, which helps heal wounds without using any stitches. That's the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Someone designed a concept to help firefighters put out fires in very tall buildings. This machine would use multiple drones to help fly and rescue people who are stuck. Every day this cat comes to this butcher looking for any extra scraps of meat. This is what a completely automated warehouse looks like with over 1,000 working robots. The robots receive an order from the consumer and then instantly carry out the task.
In preparation for the 2018 Men's World Cup, a company in Russia started making water bottles in the shape of a ball. That might sound pretty cool until you realize that the ball acted as a magnifying glass when placed in the sun. This is called Handy Move, which is a system that helps disabled people move around their own homes. This is what roads look like in the Middle East after a sandstorm. This artist is using ink that brightly shines in the dark. This drawing was great. I had to be very careful not to get any of the glowy ink on my fingers because I was touching the paper a lot with my left hand and I knew very that very easily I could start smudging and any smudging would be so painfully apparent. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A few years ago, Dan Mancia lost his eyesight from a rare eye disease, but that didn't stop him from skateboarding. He still skateboards by using a stick to help him avoid running into things. Yeah! This is Pitch Lake, located in Trinidad, and it's one of the few natural deposits of asphalt in the world. And what's that mean? Is it not sticking on your foot at all? Mm -hmm. No, it's bad, no. bad, bad, bad. Wow. Yeah. Native Americans actually use the mud from this lake to seal their boats to keep water out. The lake naturally produces methane, so the bubbles that rise to the surface are flammable. This company developed a bed that's supposed to calm down your baby. All you need to do is strap in your baby and the machine starts moving. The company states that this rocking motion helps simulate as if the baby was still in the womb. This is the Falkirk wheel located in Scotland and is currently the only rotating boat lift in the world. The wheel was created to help connect the canal to a different waterway making transportation much easier. This is Gilby. <laughs> Who is it, Garanook? That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello 
everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's this guy that takes care of exotic animals, and his lions seem to really love him. I shall laugh. Oh, God. Oh, This person decided to see what would happen if they tried to charge their old Nokia phone with one million volts. The crazy thing is that the phone still worked after his turn back on. Оно включилось! Ура! Одно сообщение пришло! Что мы ей звонили, ура! Сеть даже поймала! Ничего себе! Я просто... This is the blackest paint ever created because light has an extremely difficult time reflecting off of it. Now VBX1 is different from Van der Black. The performance is almost the same, but this material doesn't contain any carbon nanotubes and is essentially environmentally friendly. And it's the first time in the world a paint like this has been created with this level of absorption within the visible spectrum. This is what it looks like when a snake is playing dead. You should get a video of that. I am videoing. That's Musk. Oh. Well, he's, he's trying to smell dead as well as play dead. This lion is crossing this river with her cub in a dangerous situation. Motivated out of the fear of being left behind, the cub finds the courage to cross the river. That's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A company in Sweden started making beer out of sewage water. The water is taken from the sewers to be filtered, cleaned, and used to make beer. The purpose is to show people that treated water is perfectly safe to consume. För att slå hål på fördomarna och få folk att upptäcka att renat avloppsvatten kan bli en del av framtidens lösning slog nya Carnegie... Despite the fact that you're drinking beer that was in poop just a few days ago, almost 100,000 people voted the beer a solid 3 out of 5. Someone invented an airplane that would have the ability to detach and parachute safely to the ground in the event of an emergency. This is how a factory in Vietnam makes holes in designer jeans.
Here's a cool visual of what planets would look like in the sky if they were the same distance from the moon. Beehives sometimes get really, really hot, so to help cool things down, bees will work together to get some air moving. Bees will actually stand in the opening of the hive and they'll blow the air out or suck the air in to try and get some ventilation going inside the hive. And normally when they're in a commercial box, you can't really see it so good. This is called a sea bin and it's currently being used to clean up dirty harbors. Trash and other rubbish fall into the bin without harming any sea life. The company states that they have never had a fish or any form of sea life fall into the bin. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you have a wonderful Father's Day, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Many of the streets in Los Angeles are being painted white as a way to help cool down the city. The hope is that the streets will have a more difficult time absorbing radiation emitted from the sun. There's a zoo in New Zealand that traps you in a cage and lets lions crawl all around you. Police officers are using new technology when trying to stop fleeing vehicles. This device gets caught entangled in the suspect's wheel, which allows the officer to slow down the vehicle from behind. These guys found a truck that's been abandoned for over two years, so they decided to see if they could hotwire the truck and get it running again. <laughs> All the yeah. cheap like Walmart light stuff too. Yeah. The only thing that's... Yes, it does. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> This company figured out a method to extract honey from a beehive without disturbing the bees. And that goes into the honey leak back point. The bees keep the hive at about 35 degrees, which means the honey comes out quite warm. You can feel the jar and feel that the honey actually is a little bit warm. These are called brittle starfish and they can be found on the coast of California. Large groups of these brittle stars are often found together at low tide under rocks and in shallow pools possibly drawn by concentrations of decaying organic matter, which is a favorite food. These groups can include other animals. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. You can make gold dissolve and disappear by placing little tiny drops of mercury on it. I decided to add a page of gold leaf to this blob, and this time it was much faster and in my opinion a lot cooler. One thing I should mention though is that this effect is a little bit exaggerated because the gold leaf has a super high surface area. A solid gold chunk will still amalgamate 
but it won't be nearly as spectacular. These people made it possible for you to have the DNA of your loved ones tattooed in your skin. They take the hair from a loved one, mix it together with colored dye, and place it under your skin. In your hair is about 20% carbon. In a multi-step process, we extract this personal carbon and manufacture a unique tattoo ink out of it. Would be a great idea if I could have my children under my skin as a tattoo so we are connected forever. This is called the tablecloth cloud effect. As the clouds seep over the mountains, the warm air below evaporates the moisture, keeping the clouds in one place. This is what it looks like when a frog swallows a lightning bug. I wonder how long it'll live. That is so cool. This is how they make giant industrial sized metal springs. This guy made a car bike hybrid out of plastic tubes and tin foil. This is called an orange oak leaf butterfly and they can be found in South Asia. They have the ability to turn from a dried up leaf to a beautiful butterfly just by moving its wings. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Gum getting sucked to sidewalks is a problem in major cities, so a company decided to take all that gum and recycle it to make shoes. There's an organization where six-year-olds race each other on bikes that go up to 50 miles per hour. Ross McGuire rides on the back of Johnny Garner as they go through the left-hander. Casey O'Gorman dives, can't get through. It's all about the back marker. McGuire second and the back marker has helped That's out the done race it. leader. That's that one in the race. Yeah, Johnny Garner is going to have this now with one more lap. It might have been different. To wait for a good opportunity. That looks to me like Casey O'Gorman has got himself back in the third. We've got to bite down. Is that Dylan Meller? I think that's Dylan Meller who's gone and Ryan Hitchcock's gone with him. Looks like Mella has- This is an axolotl and they love to play in bubbles. <laughs> Here's what it sounds like to switch from an electric motor to a combustion engine in the same car. what every pub in England looks like when they score in the World Cup.
These doors keep activating each other's sensors when they close, which means this could go on for a really long time. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This guy owns wolves that love to eat fruits and vegetables. This is what happens when you inject luminol into a solution containing 10% bleach. There's a McDonald's in Australia that has a really neat way of sending food to their customers. This is what a $1 million humidor cigar chest looks like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Did I stop it? An organization created a ball that's pretty much indestructible for children from poor countries to play with. Have you ever seen bugs throw punches at each other? That's the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. I found an Instagram account where this guy gives his cat the best head massages. This is an F1 Savannah cat, and they're one of the most expensive domesticated cats you can possibly own. If you want a cat like this, you need to pay at least $12,000.
tired? Yeah. The U.S. government has developed wheels that can change shape depending on the terrain. Reconfigurable wheel track. Wheels that reconfigure to triangular tracks to instantly optimize mobility over different types of terrain. RWTs can change from wheel to track and back again within two seconds while the vehicle is in motion for instant improvements to tactical mobility and maneuverability on diverse terrains. There's a theme park in China that lets you walk on a bridge that's over 650 feet above the ground. This little chimp recognized and was reunited with his favorite caretaker. This is an Altomatis caterpillar, and they can be found in Central America. They are not poisonous, and they like to hang out in the same tree with hundreds of others. And it's absolutely amazing. It's just, wow, it just blows me away entirely how, how incredible, beautiful, and stunning this one is. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is the Airbus Beluga, and it is one big plane. The Beluga is used to transport large plane parts, or even small planes. NASA has their own version of the plane called the Super Guppy, except it's shorter and fatter. Every 4th of July, people in Alaska take old vehicles and rig them to drive off a cliff by themselves. A company developed this device that you wear on your wrist to help prevent you from falling asleep while driving. The device senses your heartbeat, and once it drops below a certain level, it creates an electric shock waking up the user. Now this is what it looks like when a cat has the hiccups. This is how a bullet works. Every bullet is made of just a few basic components that include the bullet case, the bullet powder, and the bullet itself. The pin strikes the bullet, igniting the powder and sending it down the barrel. This is what it looks like to make lace by hand. It might look like they're just throwing sticks around, but they know exactly what they're doing.
<laughs> That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is called a bellow, and it's something alligators do when they want to warn other alligators about coming into their territory. It's also used by male alligators to attract a mate. This is the Holloman Air Force Base located in New Mexico. The base has a high-speed test track that is over 10 miles long and can send objects to speeds of over 6,000 miles per hour. In case you're wondering, this is how sound effects are made for movies. This guy was born without his right arm, so he created his own prosthetic arm made of Legos. That keeps my arm inside the, the, the actual limb. So this is the arm from my point of view. And as you can see, I can move the hand like before. And I will show you how I can grab things with the mechanism I built. Here's some fun facts about orcas. Killer whales are not whales at all, and they are actually the largest type of dolphin. They typically travel and hunt together in something called pods, which usually consist of anywhere from 15 to 30 orcas. <laughs> There's a cafe in Japan where people can grab some tea and then feed the raccoons that live there. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is how to subdue a cobra without harming it. You basically need to distract the snake in the front, and then come from behind and gently grab it. To the ground and... Thumb and four finger. Touch. Cash in the back side. This one's also dangerous for... In Red Bull Media House made a movie called North of Nightfall where four professional bikers went up to the Arctic Circle to ride down a massive mountain. The closest hospital was over 12 hours away. Firefighters in Croatia were watching a crucial penalty shot when they were called to respond to an emergency.
Here's what the migration pattern of 118 different bird species looks like in North and South America. This is a Shetland sheep, and these sheep actually don't need to be sheared at all, as their wool can be pulled right off. Oh, you get wool off of a Shetland sheep. She's already to the midsection. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is a frogfish, and they hunt for food by walking on the seafloor and use a lure that sticks out of their head to attract prey. Frogfish start out really, really small, but they can grow to be the size of a football. Schools are beginning to introduce augmented reality programs to help students learn how chemistry works. This is what it looks like when a pilot lands a commercial airliner. 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed breaks up. This is what a fruit bat looks like when they try to eat a grape. It might look like the grape is too big, but this is totally natural and fruit bats are capable of eating things much bigger than this. Good girl. This is called the black fly, and it's a brand new type of flying vehicle. Its design is supposed to be similar to that of a drone. What makes it so special is that it has the ability to land on water and recharge its battery using solar energy. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's an annual event called Burning Man where giant wooden structures are burned in the desert. These bonfires are so huge that they actually develop a large chain of dust devils.
and apparently having dust devils appear at festivals is a really common occurrence. This person took mean comments she received on her videos and turned them into a song. K, that was kind of stupid. 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 Oh oh, oh oh. Your voice sucks. Your personality bothers me so much. You are very ugly and weird. You're singing. I think I just found the most satisfying job in the world. A few days ago, a giant animatronic T-Rex was shown off in London. This company developed running shoes designed to absorb the stress on your knees. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made her day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. A Russian engineer developed the plans to create a flying train with the ability to hold up to 2,000 passengers at once. The benefit about this compared to a plane is that arrival times would be extremely precise. There would be no need to worry about air traffic or waiting in line with other planes to gain clearance to take off from a runway. This person helps totally random people from getting a parking ticket by pretending that the car is hers. This person is walking on a slack line over some rough waters without any safety rope attached and he almost falls off. This is a cuttlefish, and they have the ability to rapidly change skin color as a way to communicate and hide from predators. Isn't that just the cutest thing? This is called an assault breacher vehicle, and its purpose is to destroy roads and sweep for mines. 
By completely leveling the road, the rest of the convoy does not need to worry about landmines. The German military made their own version where they take giant metal chains and spin them really, really fast. There's something called a motorcycle chariot, which is basically a regular chariot, except the horse is replaced with a motorcycle. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. The most expensive type of coffee in the world is called Kopilua, and it typically sells at about $300 per pound. The reason why this coffee is so expensive is because the coffee beans are consumed by something called a civet cat. The civet cat ferments the beans while in their digestive system, and they are pooped out about 24 hours later. Unfortunately, many of these cats are forced to only eat these beans and live in small cages their entire lives. <laughs> this is the Larungar Buddhist Academy located in Tibet. There are over 40,000 residents living here trying to study the ways of Tibetan Buddhism. The location is extremely remote and it's about a 13 hour drive to the closest airport. This is what a newborn pangolin looks like. <laughs> this is the Concorde, and it's a retired commercial aircraft that could travel at supersonic speeds. It was capable of traveling from New York to Paris in just under three and a half hours. The plane has a function where it can fold down its nose to help the pilot see the runway easier when they're landing. A diver is using a dye to demonstrate how a sea sponge survives by filter feeding. When liquid gets placed on a hydrophobic surface, it sticks together. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. I found a cat on Instagram with orange eyes, and it looks like it's always ready for Halloween. This is actually not meat. There's a restaurant in New York that has smoked watermelon that sits over a warm fire for a few days.
This is the Gelmerbahn, located in Switzerland. It's a railway capable of traveling up and down a mountain at extreme angles. This is the western grebe, and these birds have a super unique mating dance. This is how an advertisement for chocolate is created. The International Space Station is traveling around the Earth at over 17,000 miles per hour. To give you an idea of how fast that is, here's the space station traveling in front of the moon. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Thieves are beginning to use something called relay attacks to steal cars. The way it works is one person stands next to the car, while the other stands near the house with a device that can pick up the signal from the key fob. The device then relays that signal over to the car. The car's computer thinks that the key fob is right next to it and immediately allows instant access. We tested it over a two-week period on a total of 35 different cars, minivans, SUVs, and a pickup truck. It opened 19 of the 35, and amazingly it started 18 of those vehicles. There's a game in Japan where the main objective is to bring down your opponent's pole. Each team has 150 members. 75 people are sent to attack while 75 others defend their own pole. You're allowed to punch, kick, tackle, and pretty much do whatever you need to do to win. The word's molecular foundry you see here is only made of about 100 atoms. Berkeley Lab decided to show off how precise their laser is by drawing on top of this penny using gallium atoms. Someone made a solution that changes color depending on the angle that you view it. <laughs> What's the matter, Bubba? It's okay. This is what a chainless bicycle looks like.
There's this device you can place on top of your fence to prevent your cat from leaving the yard. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's a YouTuber that makes puppets that come to life when placed under ultraviolet light. Check this out, isn't this wonderful? So I've been playing around with this for about a week and it's still blowing me away. Just like, just the fact that I can disappear completely into the background and just have him just occupy the space, just unhindered by me. This is the Pyro Lance, which is a fire hose designed to cut straight through steel and brick walls. If there's a fire in an enclosed room, you do not want to open the door because that will feed more oxygen to the fire. The purpose of this hose is to bring the temperature of the room down so the door can then be safely opened to extinguish the fire. There's a YouTuber that goes around and offers free hugs, but this is what happened when he ran into someone who was also wearing a free hug shirt. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's this dog that has eyebrows, so it looks like it's always incredibly sad. This isn't an ordinary porta potty, this toilet leads to a super secret dance club. This man suffers from Parkinson's disease, but using something called deep brain stimulation, they can help control the shaking. Programming session. This is what it looks like without the medicine and the stimulator. And now we're just going to turn it on. See how that feels. How you feel? I feel a lot better. Yeah. 
Excellent. Try tapping both your fingers for me. These people made holes just so their dogs can pop out and say hello to everyone. This is called a discus launch glider, which is a plane you throw into the air and slowly flies back to you. There's this person that makes some incredible handmade mechanisms out of coins. These are garden eels, and they spend the majority of their life living in a hole. They're totally harmless, and they feed by eating little tiny pieces of food that float by. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This person was running away from the police when a group of cows joined in. Actually, the large group of cows is following her for a good visual. Uh, looks like they may attack her. Want to alert? I'm gonna give you my flashlight. You can tell me where to go from here. Keep going southeast. Uh, she's uh, pretty far into the field now. Um, if you see the large group of cows, they're they're literally following her and uh, chasing her. Come down, Brisbane or side. All right, alert. We got her lit up. This is a parrotfish, and when they sleep, they just kind of stay still, but they do something really strange if they don't feel safe. Parrotfish have the ability to make a bubble made out of their own mucus to protect themselves from blood-sucking parasites while they sleep. This is what a 3D robotic billboard looks like. This is the Sherp ATV, and it's pretty much the ultimate off-road vehicle. Despite how huge it is, it's actually surprisingly lightweight. Here's a graph showing how fertility rates around the world drop as countries become wealthier.
That's the end of this video. Hope you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is what a bubble eye goldfish looks like. They're just like regular goldfish, except they have giant sacs filled with fluid on the sides of their head. If these sacs pop, the fish will usually be fine. It's just the sac will regrow and look a little deformed. That's just for him. That's for him. Yeah! You're the man. Hey, we get flowers sometimes too. We deserve them. This is what it looks like when you put a motor on a foil board. If you're interested in buying one of these, it'll cost you about $12,000. This is what it looks like to ride the trains in Mumbai, India. What you'll notice is that there are mainly men boarding this train. That's because women have their own car separated from the men. Women in India don't feel safe being in extremely crowded cars surrounded by men. This company made a robot that's specifically designed to find Waldo in under 10 seconds. This person designed car wheels that made parallel parking so much easier. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Many reptile breeders tickle the shell of an egg to see if it's ready to hatch. This method is only used to see if the baby is strong enough to break through the shell. Yeah, I got you. I got this on camera. This person bought a giant stuffed bear, jumped inside, and then went to Walmart. Wait, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now teach me how to doggy. <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> Please. I mean, This is called the Sea Keeper, which is a gyro stabilizer to prevent the boat from rocking back and forth. At the bottom of the boat, multiple stabilizers are placed to shift the weight in the opposite direction of the natural motion. ...of every boater's experience. Because stabilizing the roll motion is stabilizing the worst motion of a boat that makes people sick and tired. This will come about, we think, the same way that safety and comfort have been built into automobiles. This is a Eurasian Rhinek, and they have an interesting defense mechanism when they're captured. 
These birds make their body as skinny as possible and move like a snake to try and scare predators. This is called a self-starting siphon and is a simple shaped tube that can move liquid without using any sort of effort. Many people actually used to make tubes like this to steal gas from gas stations. Let's see what happens. Watch it closely. We lower it in, water level comes up to that first bend, over, down, around, and out. And it only just made it. In fact, it wouldn't have if that hill were too tall or the water level weren't right up to the edge there. This is a giant dragline excavator built by the Soviet Union. This incredibly massive machine doesn't have any wheels, but it moves by walking on its feet. During the Vietnam War, this is how the Viet Cong would hide from U.S. soldiers. <laughs> Not only was it difficult to find the enemy, but the Viet Cong also set up numerous booby traps. Uh, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These are mobula rays, and this is a performance both males and females carry out to attract a mate. The higher the rays fly, the bigger the noise they make on the way down, which makes it easier to get noticed. What you just saw was the world's first standing double backflip on a hard surface. This is called a sun dog, and it's a very rare situation when it looks like there are three suns in the sky. It's created when sunlight reflects off of ice crystals floating in the air. This is called a Paternoster lift, and it's a continuously moving doorless elevator. They're not very helpful for elderly or disabled people, but do make it very easy to jump on. Supposedly, there are sensors that stop the lift if someone were to get their arm stuck between levels. These people in California blocked off traffic on a bridge so they could do some stunts. They were arrested a few minutes later. This is an easy way to convert salt water into fresh water. By heating up the bottle filled with salt water, only fresh water evaporates and moves to the other bottle. So now it's been about 10 minutes since the water started boiling, and I think I have enough water in this bottle that I can give it a test. Absolutely pure. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later!
Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This person created a Stirling engine made out of soda cans and a candle. A Stirling engine is an engine that only needs a heat source to operate. Hey man, can you hurry up in here? I still got a shower. This bear was injured in a wildfire in California, and these veterinarians decided to use the skin from tilapia fish to heal the wounds. Medical professionals have discovered that the skin from tilapia fish actually speeds up the healing process for burn victims. Because she's so painful, and we try a new therapy. I put those, those bandages, the tilapia skin on her feet, and right after we got done and she woke up, she stood up for the first time and was able to walk. A company created a backpack that stays in place while your back moves up and down. This technology is being used to make it easier for U.S. soldiers to carry equipment. Okay, unlock. This is a blue sea slug, and although they look super cute, they're actually extremely dangerous. These little guys eat some of the most venomous jellyfish in the world and then store that venom in their own skin. If a human touches one of these guys, they will receive a potentially deadly sting. There's a restaurant in the Maldives that's completely underwater. In 1997, a group of people in France decided to build their own castle using only the tools they had back in the 13th century. The castle is located right next to a forest where all their building materials come from. The castle is expected to be completed in about six years. Les maçons vont continuer à élever la porte entre deux tours. Soutenus par les carriers et les tailleurs de pierre, ils vont relier les deux tours par un arc formant assommoir. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is the Greenland shark, and it has one of the longest lifespans of any animal. This shark has an extremely slow metabolism. Their metabolism is so slow that they're not even biologically ready to mate until they reach about 150 years old. The oldest Greenland shark ever recorded was found to be about 400 years old. These sharks are also extremely slow, with a maximum speed of about 1.6 miles per hour. Because of how slow they are, scientists are not exactly sure how they hunt for food. A boy in Venezuela created his own handheld video game using cardboard and plastic bottles. In the year 79 AD, the city of Pompeii was buried after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. In the year 1748, excavations began to unearth this ancient city. What you see right now is drone footage of what archaeologists from the past several hundred years have brought to light.
This is the Midsummer Eve Bonfire, located in Norway. It's an annual tradition used to celebrate the summer solstice and the longest day of the year. This giant tower is created by climbing up and down these wooden pallets. This is a sand fish from Egypt. How cool is that? They do their swimming in the sand. There's a device you can put on your guitar to automatically tune it. A few seconds and you are good to go. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This family ordered some pizza, and the pizza boy showed up and started playing on their piano. In case you didn't know, this is what daytime fireworks look like. This plane in Canada was called in to extinguish a fire in the middle of a road. Nobody was harmed and unfortunately the video gets a little cut off at the end. This is the largest wave that was ever surfed. Back in November 2017, off the coast of Portugal, the surfer rode a wave that was over 80 feet tall. This figure is created by sending an incredible amount of electricity through glass and plastic. What's cool about this is that the design will continue to flicker with electricity for up to 30 minutes after the initial discharge. We need a windscreen wiper. <laughs> This person attached a drone to an umbrella to make it look like it's floating over his head. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is what the track of a drag race looks like. The surface is really, really sticky, so the cars can get a good grip. Got it, let's see that. <laughs> <laughs> Take a 
Oh, shh. <laughs> There's a popular sport in Southeast Asia where you pretty much play volleyball using your feet. This is what air traffic in the United States looked like before and after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. This is called a coconut octopus. They like to carry seashells, coconuts, or pretty much whatever they can find everywhere they go. They use these objects to hide and protect themselves from predators. These police officers try teaching a dog how to do CPR. In the 1960s, Albania had a dictator who was paranoid that his country was going to be attacked. As a result, he ordered over 750,000 bunkers to be built all over the country. These bunkers still exist today and can be found on pretty much every street corner. At one point, over 20% of the total economic output of Albania was dedicated to building these bunkers. This little penguin was released back in the wild, but it wasn't really sure what to do. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Coca-Cola made a machine that instantly turns your soda into frozen slush. Oh, whoa! That was a cool... Okay, that was cool. Whoa! <laughs> if you take a lit match and place it inside of a microwave, you can create plasma. Come on, come on. Here we go. Plasma can also be created by microwaving grapes. Scientists put small light bulbs all over this fake arm to see if an electric eel could turn them on.
In South American countries such as Colombia and Brazil, you'll see people perform at red lights. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is called a persistent train, and it's a rare occurrence when a meteor leaves a trail behind. This isn't actually smoke, but a result of the meteor ionizing the air. The meteor is moving so fast that it actually strips away electrons from molecules in the air. This astronomer found a persistent train that formed in the shape of a ring. There's a restaurant in Japan that sends you noodles through a series of bamboo tubes. You're not supposed to take all the noodles, so people further down the line can have some too. Good afternoon, everyone. This is called a red-throated loon, and it's a type of bird that likes to dive for food. They have the ability to dive to a depth of 30 feet and hold their breath for 90 seconds. There's a sport from Norway that's pretty much a belly flop championship. The objective is to have the most painful dive possible into the water. A few days ago, Japan experienced their most powerful typhoon in over 25 years. This is what it looks like when two octopuses fight. It got to the point that it looked like a giant octopus burrito. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is Peanut the Trucker Cat. His owner drives a big semi-truck for a living and likes to travel for thousands of miles. This is what conditions are like for over 100,000 people living in Hong Kong. With so many people living in such a small area, these people pay over $150 a month to live in a cage or metal box. 
To make things even worse, about 15 people have to share the same bathroom. The military in Ukraine decided to show off how advanced their weapons are. Despite being on a boat, the gun is so stable that it can balance a cup of water. There's a train in Thailand that goes straight through a marketplace. This is the USS Arizona Memorial, located in Hawaii. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, this ship and over 1,000 US sailors sunk to the bottom of the harbor. What makes this memorial so interesting is that over 77 years later, you can still see oil from the ship rise to the surface. Look at just coming up again and again right in here. Look at this. The bark from this tree is used to make cork for wine bottles. The bark grows back on the tree about 9 years later to be harvested again. The average cork tree gets harvested about 12 times in its lifetime. Nice. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is called the Arch Lifter, and it's a medical device used to fix your neck. The device locks your head in place, while gravity is used to straighten out your neck. The Arch Lifter is a new and unique cervical traction device that relieves the tension and pain that build up after a hard day's work. The Arch Lifter is designed to apply traction forces precisely to give you the neck and back pain relief you need in under a minute per day. The Arch Lifter uses balanced traction forces by applying those forces to the front and the back of the head. This is called a Japanese wood plane, and it's a tool that shaves off extremely thin pieces of wood. To give you an idea of just how thin these sheets of wood are, your typical piece of paper is about 100 microns thick. These wood shavings are sometimes less than 16 microns thick. These are some of the quickest gunslingers in the world. 459 on one, a five flat on two, no time on three. No time on two, a 295 on four. <laughs> that is a new world record. Woo! And then a new world record, 295.
This is what a $367,000 signing machine looks like. It has the ability to perfectly replicate anyone's signature. Now that we have the sign plotted, we're going to go ahead and remove away the material we do not need. After we finish weeding, we're going to go ahead and tape over the letters. It's a diamond grade. Uh, basically, at night, this is what, when your headlights hit, shoots it back in your face. And there you go. You've got a completed stop sign. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is a golden-tailed gecko. What you're looking at is extremely rare footage of their defense mechanism used to scare away predators. When the geckos feel threatened, they shoot a sticky substance out of their tail. This web is also extremely foul-smelling and will make this gecko smell really, really bad. Unfortunately, this type of gecko is currently suffering from habitat loss in Australia. This truck was being repossessed when the owner jumped in and tried to drive away. This artist created a 3D printer using the power and heat from the sun to make objects from sand. This is a marine iguana, only found in the Galapagos Islands. They're the only type of iguana in the world that can swim and dive for food. Many of these iguanas can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes long. When racehorses are about two years old, they begin hard training to become the best. Since the horses are so young, their body is not ready to handle this type of training. This is a monorail that runs with the horses and protects them if they trip or fall. This is the Ames window, which is an optical illusion that was created in 1951. It's a two-dimensional object that appears to be transparent. When you place objects on this window, it appears that the objects are passing straight through. So the window appears to pause and go backwards, but the matchbox keeps coming and floats out past this edge of the window. You can see that, you can even see the pin. But watch what happens here. The ruler's coming, window pauses, window goes backwards, and somehow or other they go through each other, even though you know they can't do it. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These researchers were studying a group of beluga whales when they noticed something strange. One of the whales was actually a narwhal. This narwhal has been swimming with the same group of whales for over three years. About three months ago, a new type of rock was discovered in Lake Superior in the United States. These are called euperlites. They look like regular boring rocks until they're placed underneath an ultraviolet light. So this is what they look like without. You can see there's a couple different patterns going on. And they fluoresce very brightly under long wave UV. 
quite a few different flavors. And the white light back on and take the UV away. me it's a smooth knob tail gecko and it's very beautiful and I love geckos they're very cute yeah this guy's very cute he's so oh yeah he's so cute yeah oh I can't believe I found one I've never seen one of these in the wild before this is a peacock mantis shrimp and they're one of the most fearsome predators in the animal kingdom they hunt for food by punching other animals to death they have the fastest punch ever recorded at speeds of over 50 miles per hour. Their punch is so strong that they can break through the glass walls of aquariums. A zoo installed a new security camera and it scared the snow leopard. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. I found some videos of cats getting slapped on their lower backs, and I thought this was pretty weird, but apparently some cats really love this. I did some more research on this because I've never heard of this before, and apparently this is totally normal behavior for some cats. Here's a really cool science experiment where you can make yourself a working steam engine by using soda cans, water, and a candle. The QR code on this missing person poster showed up as an electrode. God. This is called a saddleback caterpillar. These little guys can be found in North and Central America. These things are venomous and can cause extreme pain if one of their hairs gets into your skin. This is called a high altitude balloon and scientists send these balloons to the highest point of Earth's atmosphere. These balloons go as high as they can before they pop and take a parachute back down. The wings of some butterflies change color after they emerge from their pupa for the first time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Where is coming? laughs>
<laughs> Hello. For some reason, this person on this airplane is blowing air on their underwear. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. 